Hi Griffins, welcome to Curriculum 2023, a curriculum presentation for rising juniors in the class of 2023 at Donovan Catholic High School. Hi, I'm Mrs. Britton, Director of Student Services at Donovan Catholic. I'm here today to walk you through our curriculum and scheduling procedures for the 2021-2022 school year. Here's an overview of the scheduling timeline today. Now you are watching this curriculum video. After you finished, please complete the corresponding Google form for course selection. The link to the Google form is on our website and it was emailed directly to your family. All course requests must be made by Tuesday, April 6th. If you need help making your selections, please attend our in-person or virtual guidance drop-in scheduling group sessions. After you submit your request, your guidance counselor will review your choices to compare your teacher recommendations, course prerequisites, graduation requirements, and course sequencing. We will release an updated and finalized copy of your request on Genesis Parent Access for approval. After that, if you change your mind regarding any of your requests, please contact your assigned guidance counselor as soon as possible, but no later than April 28th. 2021 so that we can plan accordingly. Official school schedules will be released electronically the first week of August. I'd like to start off with an overview of our graduation requirements. As a student in the class of 2023, you will be looking at the requirements in the left side column. As a student at Donovan Catholic, by June 2023, you must have completed four religion courses, four English courses, three social studies classes, four semesters of mathematics, three science classes, two world language courses in the same world language, health, driver's ed, and at least one fine and practical arts class. All of our students complete a minimum service hour requirement. While these are the minimum requirements, many colleges and universities are expecting you to exceed these requirements. At bare minimum, all of our classes are at the CP level. That stands for college prep. Some classes don't list CP or honors next to it. That is because it has only one level of study, but is still considered to be college prep. If you are enrolled in a course that carries a weight to it, like an accelerated or honors course, it's important to know that weight is added to your cumulative GPA, not the actual course grade. For example, if you earn a 90 in an honors class, a 90 is printed on the report card. The 90 is printed on your transcript, but when your GPA is calculated, a 97 is used for that calculation. New this upcoming year is our accelerated course level, which is an additional stepping stone between college prep and honors level courses as you advance into AP and IB curriculum your junior and senior year. Some of the courses you will take this upcoming year are pre-selected for you based on graduation requirements and your course sequencing. Performing well in your classes this year will allow you to move into higher level courses through teacher recommendation or meeting prerequisites. We want our students to be challenged and successful in their classes, and each year your courses should adapt to reflect your preparation. It's important to point out that at this point, your classes are requests. They are not guaranteed selections. Each student will make eight primary choices and three alternate choices. Your schedule of classes will be released electronically in early August and teacher assignments will be announced in September. On the screen here is a general four year planning guide. Our school will continue to operate on a traditional block schedule. This means students will enroll in up to four classes in the fall and up to four classes in the spring semester. One of the biggest advantages of block scheduling is the ability for students to double up in subjects without being concurrently enrolled. For example, you can take two math classes a year every year you're enrolled without having those classes at the same time. The same is true for art, science, and world language. Students choosing to enroll in AP and IB classes will have a different looking junior and senior year as many of those classes span two semesters. We are now accepting applications for the IB diploma program for students in the class of 2023. Students applying for this course of study will choose an IB concentration, enroll in the required IB courses, including junior and senior year religion, and complete the core. 
to become IB Diploma candidates for June 2023. Applications for the IB Diploma program are due on April 15th. Students can choose to take all of the available junior and senior courses at the IB level to be eligible for the diploma, or they can select a handful of classes at the IB level as a course student. To learn more about this academic and co-curricular opportunity, students and guardians can attend our information session on Tuesday, March 30th during Academic Enrichment 7B, and again in the evening at 6 p.m. on Google Meet, or speak directly to their guidance counselor. We know that each learner is unique, so how you fill in the yellow spaces on this chart is a personal decision. We want our students to be challenged, but not overwhelmed. And the electives you choose is how you explore academic opportunities and set yourself apart from other applicants when it comes to applying to college. Choosing to take a core class instead of an elective, like an additional math or science class, will add that rigor to your transcript that colleges are looking for during your junior and senior years. We will continue to allow students to opt into an early dismissal for the 2021-2022 school year. As a rising junior, you can choose a single or dual semester early dismissal to be scheduled in lieu of an elective or electives this upcoming year. Most electives you can only take once, so if you've already enrolled in that class, you cannot choose to enroll in that class again. However, there are a few exceptions to that guideline. The following classes are allowed to be taken multiple times strength conditioning, jazz choir honors, band, yearbook, and media technology. Here's a list of the upcoming AP and IB level courses we offer. If you plan to enroll in these courses, it's important to plan ahead. Most of the IB classes are structured so that one semester occurs during junior year and the other semester during senior year. Most AP classes are two semesters in the same year. There is also some single semester courses like AP Psychology, AP Physics, and AP Computer Science. I will now walk you through department by department our curriculum offerings. This presentation today is made specifically for you, a student in the class of 2023 in mind. I want to keep this as concise as possible because truly I could talk about our curriculum for longer than the average attention span. Additional information regarding our curriculum, including our course offerings guide that lists all of the class prerequisites, can be found on our website, www.donovancatholic.org, guidance, curriculum, or go to your grade level resource section on our website. Our first department is Religious Studies. As a graduation requirement, all students will enroll in one religion class for each year of attendance. As a rising junior, you will enroll in Catholic social teachings. This course is offered at the college prep and honors level. Students in the honors course can contract for college credit with Georgian Court University. The level you enroll in will be based on teacher recommendation and your course prerequisites as listed in the course offerings guide. Our next department is English. As a rising junior, you're required to take at least one English class this upcoming year. You can select from three choices as long as you meet the prerequisites. You can enroll in British literature at the college prep level or start your AP or IB sequence. Students enrolling in AP or IB English will take part one of the class junior year and enroll in part two of the course senior year. Both of these classes offer the option to earn college credit with Ocean County College or by taking the exams. As a rising junior, the following English electives are available to you, creative writing, public speaking, and literature appreciation. Our next department is social studies. As a rising junior, most students will enroll in their first United States history course this upcoming year. The graduation requirement is one term of world history and two semesters of United States history. Students can complete United States history part one at the CP honors or IB levels junior year and finish US history two at the same level senior year. Students who choose to complete United States history at the AP level will enroll in the two semester course in one year and will not take a core social studies class senior year. Please be sure to check the course prerequisites in the course offerings guide. Electives offered in the social studies department this upcoming year are sociology, psychology and physiology of stress for female students and AP or IB psychology. You are required to complete four years of mathematics to graduate, but the more math you take, the better prepared you will be for college and the more rigorous your transcript will be. 
Here are the math sequences available at Donovan Catholic. To find your next math class or classes, locate the current or most recent math course you were enrolled in and select the next course or courses in the sequence. Remember, if you have been enrolled in college prep math, you cannot enroll in honors math. If you have been enrolled in honors math and want to move to college prep math level math, you are able to do so. Trigonometry and elementary function analysis, also known as EFA, are interchangeable and can be taken in any order, but you must complete both of those classes before you can enroll in calculus college prep your junior or senior year. For planning purposes, AP Calculus is a two semester course. Our next department is science. The graduation requirement for this department is three semesters of science courses. All of our science classes are considered to be lab-based sciences. Listed here on the screen are general guidelines for your science curriculum. Remember, we do not track students, so these are guidelines, and you will need to pay attention to the prerequisites in the course offerings guide. One of the many benefits of block scheduling is the ability to double up in a subject without being concurrently enrolled. Junior year is a good time to take an additional science in lieu of a true elective. For example, enrolling in both AP or IB biology and IB chemistry or environmental science, depending on your interests. All students are required to take biology prior to graduation. So if you have not yet enrolled in that class, please make sure to add it to your request for the upcoming year. By graduation, most students will have also enrolled in chemistry and physics. Some students may choose to gravitate towards the less math-based sciences junior year, which might be more in your comfort zone. For example, those are forensic science and anatomy and physiology. All students, but particularly those students who plan to study in the STEM field, pre-professional studies, or even business, should expect to enroll in physics by graduation as well to remain competitive in your college applications. World Language is our next department. Students who enroll in Spanish 1 college prep or honors this year will continue on to the second year of Spanish at the appropriate level based on your course prerequisites for next year. Students who were enrolled in Spanish 2 at the college prep or honors level this year have met the graduation requirement, but rigorous transcripts will include that third or even fourth year of study. This year, we are updating our curriculum for the IB Spanish class to reflect a more seamless transition from Spanish 2 into the IB Spanish 1. Any student who plans to, plans to complete four years of Spanish should enroll in IB Spanish ab initio SL 1 and 2. You are encouraged to take these classes as a two semester single year course so that you can complete the IB Spanish exam in May of 2022. If you are planning to complete three years of Spanish, you should enroll in Spanish 3 Accelerated. If you do not want to enroll in the third and fourth semester of World Language, you have met your graduation requirement. Our next department is Visual and Performing Arts. This upcoming year, we have added two new art classes to our curriculum. The first is Pottery and Sculpture. Similar to Digital Photography, this course has no art prerequisites. The second is Painting. You must have completed both Foundations of Art and drawing in order to enroll in painting, so that will generally be considered a junior year course. Then you will progress to the upper level classes. All students are required to complete at least one fine and practical arts class by graduation. Listed here on the screen are the courses that meet that requirement. This includes all of our performing arts classes like jazz choir, band, and also media technology. Rising juniors can choose one of the business classes, Yearbook One or Personal Financial Management. Students have the option to contract for honors weight in both of these classes. While there's no physical education requirement for grades 11 and 12, you can choose the elective strength and conditioning. Our final department is interdisciplinary studies. As a rising junior, you have the opportunity to pursue online courses for high school or college credit by enrolling in those classes. An alternative option is choosing a MOOC, massive open online class to explore elective interests outside of our current curriculum. Finally, students can enroll in one of our self-paced college and career awareness or SAT prep class run by the guidance department. Students can still choose to enroll in one of these courses, even if you have an early dismissal, as these classes take place off campus and or are in a self-paced format. 
Rising seniors will have the option to earn college credit for some of their classes. You can earn credit by scoring well on your AP or IB exams or by enrolling in a community college course through either dual enrollment or at their campus. We offer dual enrollment with Ocean County College for the following courses, IB Chemistry, AP and IB Biology, AP and IB Psychology, AP and IB United States History, AP English, IB Literature, AP Computer Science A, and AP Calculus AB. More information about this opportunity can be found on our website and in the course offerings guide. So what do you do with all of this information? Well, you need to fill in this chart. Colleges want to see that you took the most rigorous courses available to you. Students should be challenged, but not overwhelmed. Now that you're making decisions, don't forget the elective choices that you choose are how you explore academic opportunities and set yourself apart from other students. Choosing to take a core class instead of an elective will add that rigor to your transcript that colleges are looking for during your junior and senior years. Remember, we will continue to allow students to opt into an early dismissal for the 2021-2022 school year. As a rising junior, you can opt into either a single or dual semester early dismissal in lieu of an elective. Now that you learned about our curriculum offerings for the 2021-2022 school year, it's time to take your next steps by completing your course requests. Step one, now that you've watched this curriculum video, your next step is to complete your grade specific Google form. If you need assistance, please attend our drop in group guidance sessions, either in person or virtually. These drop in sessions will take place during academic enrichment with additional evening and weekend times available virtually. Step two, you must be signed into your Donovan Catholic Google account to access the Google form. You can edit your requests as many times as you want until April 6th. Students who do not complete this form by the deadline can lose out on some of these course opportunities. After your requests have been made, you will undergo counselor review. Your guidance counselor will review your selections, compare it to your teacher recommendations, class prerequisites, course sequencing, and graduation requirements. Please be sure to look at the course prerequisites in the course offerings guide so that there are not surprises for you when your final requests are released in April on Genesis Parent Access. Once you have finalized your request, you will have until April 28th at noon to request an adjustment, but the sooner you notify us, the better. After April 28th, any student request to change your request will incur the schedule change fee. Here's a schedule of our upcoming virtual drop-in sessions for assistance. In-person drop-in group guidance will take place each school day during academic enrichment 7A, 7B. Here's a final recap of the scheduling timeline for the next five weeks. Remember, the deadline to submit these initial requests is April 6th, and the final deadline to make any changes to your request is April 28th. That was Curriculum 2023. Thank you for listening.